Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Beyond GMU. I'm here joined by Denanda Promesti, another LIT student. A LIT student stands for Leader, Innovator, and Team Player. Denanda has done several things, including interning at WUSA 9. She is an intern here at GMU as a strategic communication intern for the Department of Marketing and Communications at George Mason. Also, she is the lifestyle editor for GMU's Fourth Estate. So let's welcome Denanda. Hi, Denanda. Hi, Rady. Welcome to Beyond GMU. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be a part of this. So if you can tell us about the different internships mm -hmm. that you've done and that you're currently doing, like what, what do they encompass? What kind of things did you have to do? Yeah, so I'm currently interning um, as a st strategic communications intern at the Department of Marketing Communications here at George Mason. And basically what I do is I write stories for the George Mason News website, not, not necessarily the, the main website but the news where we where um s things are happening within the george mason community uh whether it's an alumni faculty or some events like the comm department um we write stuff about that um and for wsa9 we um what i mostly did was research and um helped out reporters with their stories um, research for stories, call people up to uh, fact check for stories, um, helping out with the producers with what they wanted to do for their stories. And um, I also got to make my own reporter reel. So I edited, I, I edited videos. I get to have um, my own portfolio, my reporter portfolio. So I, I did a lot of stuff. So that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Congrats to you. Thank you. So what made you decide to do an internship or do all these different internships? Um, so WSA 9 and the internship internship that I have now as a strategic communications intern, they're, comp they're different things in a way that WSA 9 is more like reporter mm -hmm. and on TV, whereas strategic comm is more writing intensive. And so um, I kind of wanted to do these two things because I want to have a broad um, range of what I can do if, of my skills and abilities that I can show to, to my future employer, employers like hey I can write but I, I, I also can um, edit videos and be on camera maybe uh, on camera but i um, not sure about that yet but yeah I had I have like those experience so and talking specifically about WUSA 9 mm -hmm. that's a big deal yeah how did you get that internship like what, what was the process Okay, um, networking. Networking is really, really important. So um, during our SPJ meeting, SPJ is a Society of Professional Journalists, for those of you who don't know, where we have like speakers every week uh, to, to talk with us and give us their tips. So during one meeting, there was a, a, a speaker, um, a political reporter, shout out, <laughs> who helped me out with my resume and um, to like, you know, change a couple of things to like polish my resume. And he was like, oh, are you applying for a WSA 9 internship? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I know someone from there. Let me, uh, let me uh, connect him to you. And that's how I basically got my internship. So, be so networking is really, really important for any journalist, anyone who wants to um, be, you know, make it out in this, hard world <laughs> awesome so you yeah. would say that one of the biggest lessons you've learned out of this entire process is to network right yes definitely and um network socialize go to networking events yeah all right thank you so much for sharing all that information thank you everyone we'll be back with more Hi everyone, welcome back to more Beyond GMU. So let's get to know more of Denanda. Oh gosh. Denanda, are you ready to play some games with us? Sure, yeah. All right. So what would be what would be five items that you would take to a deserted island? Oh god, I get to pick five. Okay, yeah, only so five. my phone, my phone charger, uh essential food items. TV and like a plane back home. Okay. <laughs> the last one was very strategic. Yeah, thanks. But everything else, it's all materialistic in a way. Do you, it is. Yeah. <laughs>
that kind of segues us into our next topic. So, okay. you know, there's a lot of things said about millennials. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some misconceptions about millennials? Can you think of any? Yeah. So first of all, to all you, uh, I can't say that. <laughs> um, millenn- we have like mis- some misconceptions about us because people, some people, o- older older adults think that we are lazy Mm -hmm. but we're not we are as hard working as adults are but we just probably have a harder time because of the economy because of like everything that's going on and there's a lot of things that you know it's are going out are going on with our lives too like some people are have mental illness Mm -hmm. you know there's just a lot of things that happen in school what what would you say about millennials being obsessed with social media i think that it's just a part of today's society because technology... So you don't think that's a misconception? I mean, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that, yeah, it's true that we are obsessed with social media, but it's also a part of our society because technology has grown so much Mm -hmm. and social media has grown so much. Everything is on the internet, so we can't help but look because it's part of today's world. What about, I I feel like a lot of young shows nowadays talk about like love and relationships. Do you think that's a misconception that younger generations, millennials, are are obsessed with love and dating? Do you think that's a... I think this goes for every generation. Love and relationships, it transcends time. Like every, in every generation there is there's love there's relationships i don't think love and relationships have anything to do with millenni- the millennial generation um and yeah okay. <laughs> yeah all right so before you go would you mind sharing your social media with us yeah so uh, my twitter is denanda promesti um at, so it's at denanda promesti my instagram is also denanda promesti and you can look me up on facebook Denanda A. Promesti, so yeah. And, uh, your LinkedIn? Oh, LinkedIn is Denanda Promesti as well, so. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to GM- Beyond GMU. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank Until you, next everyone. time. <laughs>